Great. Now, d I'm just cool. Clearly a clusterfuck. Yeah, I just don't Obviously. even... Obviously. I want to stab all the things. Anyway, welcome to Podcast 170, Episode 170. That is a few podcasts, you guys. We're, we're almost to 175 and then forever away from 200. Okay. Will we hit 200? Will TFT implode on itself? Will we all go our separate ways and never speak to each other again? At 200, Tune we just in. drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tune in to the next episode <laughs> to find out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I am your host, Zach, and today we have some lovely people with us. We have Wubwave. Hello. Daniela, a.k.a. Mintastic Berry. Hey, oh, I'm only here to fill in the quota between male and female. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we, we, we got to meet those quotas. And our lovely streamer and roommate for me, Chaos Man. Hi. All right, so we started this conversation talking about Pokemon Go, and then we held right. it because we wanted to talk about it on the podcast. Yes, yes, we did hold it. So we should probably start the conversation. What's everyone's team? Well, da Daniela, yeah, Daniela brought it up. She was like, "What team is everyone on?" I need to know. I personally, I personally, I I'm waiting till next paycheck because my current phone doesn't one let me download apps because I don't have enough storage for texts, let alone apps. So that's just because it won't read the micro SD. So that's a whole other thing. So when I do get Pokemon Go, I am for sure going to go Team Instinct. Woo, woo. Yeah. <laughs> the squad. squad. Oh, are we all Team Instinct right now? Is that what's up? Dope. Dope. Wubs, Wubs, your team instinct, though? Yeah, I am. Awesome. Yeah, Zapdos is one. Hail the Zapdos. Best. Two, the Hail symbol Zapdos. is a triangle, and I like triangles. Two, it's yellow. Yellow yeah. is pretty cool. And uh, four, it's all about Pokemon breeding and hatching, which is something I really enjoy doing in Pokemon. Yeah. Really? It's, it's, it seems like yeah. a really like tedious process. I know, I love it. It's I, rewarding. I really want to best Pokemon. Read and name Pokemon and then trade them and have someone train them for me and then send them back. I, I, Wait, send I, them I, back? I <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you're supposed to be building your. Like, like you said, it was the equivalent of Nazis for you. The equivalent of Nazis. Yeah, we had a whole video about that. <laughs> Oh man, that thumbnail, the the proto thumbnail that you sent me was a maybe a bit much. Maybe a I just, bit. <laughs> I mean, some of the jokes that we said. So, I, I, mm. <laughs> it was it was. I I want that to be a video, but I'm very concerned about they were edgy. how it will be received. Yeah, no, well, it, too it, much it was edgy. super edgy. It was edgy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was super edgy humor wise. Also, everyone did hit record, Seawin, so that's good. Yeah. Now, let's hope that everyone saves their project. Chaos, <laughs> I'm looking at you. Zach. <laughs> no. Zachary. I've never done that in my life. Right. I've only done it twice. So, it's been 40 podcasts. Going back to Pokemon teams, if I remember right. Yeah, let's go back Chaos's to Chaos's wife is a filthy member of Team Valor. Yes. Well, Actually, that's I how I can call her. I can just say Valor to me whenever I need her. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking about Team Valor because Team Valor is more of what I do personally, but because you know, instinct, you know, you could do what you gotta do, you know, follow your instinct. And I was just like, Yeah, follow your instincts, your intuition, you know, have faith in your innate Pokemon's abilities. Yeah, and then breed the and, perfect and... Pokemon Master Race. <clears throat> exactly. I mean, if. If you put a lot of effort and work into hatching and breeding Pokemon, then you have to trust in their instincts and the intuition that, that you worked so hard on. Uh, the What's natural so... abilities that they have because of the race and genetics. I, I picked it because I normally just say screw it and follow my instinct. I'm just saying, guys. You yeah. had some so good like, ideas. Screw it! <laughs> <laughs> also, loves, um continuing on the fact that uh, you were bashing on our Team Valor my wife <laughs> I was thinking right, about going yeah. Valor well see that's you thought about it and then you're like no that's a stupid idea fucking degenerate that's racist man <laughs> I racist. saw uh, 
a meme online, uh, like one of those. Because one thing I really like about Pokemon Go is that it's just created tons of memes, which is yeah. very nice. Yeah, everywhere. It's like yeah. what, po what Nintendo intended, and it's like a group in like various college shirts all together, and they're like having a good time. And it's like what actually happened, and it's just like the Crips, the Bloods, and the Latin Kings. <laughs> Oh and the next series of images, yeah. and you're like, yeah, that's kind of right. Like, they just kind of created Pokemon gangs. Yeah, that's basically what's happened. I mean, did you guys hear about all the robbing and the finding of dead bodies? Well, well no, the finding of dead bodies, it, it's happened once. But it, things like that are inevitably going to happen because people are forced to walk, sometimes stupidly and dangerously, to different areas. And then... Oh, it, you just happened to come across this or that. Yeah. And in one all thing... honesty, oh my bad. Go ahead. Well, well, I'm think one thing I hope happens in future updates, and then like just eventually, with like everything as they go forward, is like the ability to like for maybe people, business owners, or what have you, to actually control like. For example, some people have gyms spotting in their houses or something like that. It's like, well, that's not something I'd want. And, and like, it? It, no, or, or it, like, war is like, for you, like in the middle of something like a police station. Shit. It's like, it, like certain, or, or a government facility. Places that you can't go and it's like, oh, just part of the map. Speaking of that, I, there is a gym on a concourse at Denver International Airport that only a few people have access to. So I'm going to go there. That's going to be the first gym that I take because I know no one will be able to take it back easily. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes. Also, I, I'm looking on Team Instinct's uh, subreddit, and we currently have Rush uh, Mount Rushmore and, like, two other huge, like, monuments. Last That's night. So it's like... Here in Denver, I'm happy to say downtown Denver has a good Team Instinct presence because last night Union Station, our main train station, and the Capitol building were under control of Team Instinct. So that is awesome. So as far as I know, Orlando majorly Team Mystic. Nice. Team Mystic. Well, I guess you're just gonna have to kill all of them. I mean, <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. Yeah. They tried what? to convert oh. me. They tried to convert me. Oh. What are you... Oh, no. <laughs> I accidentally did an edgy, didn't I? Oh, no. Wub, save me. Nope. At least it wasn't a gas chamber. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> was it, well, who was it today that said that the, um, the fucking, uh, Holocaust Museum, uh, <laughs> has a gem in it? And at the moment, it was, it was, it was Ray. Yeah, it was. No, I have sure seen a lot of to... things that people are now having to put signs like "Don't come in here for Pokemon" or just, you know, "Stop with that" or "This is not for Pokemon users." Fuck off, you notes, says. Yeah. <laughs> it's really we like society is really weird right now, because like uh, I'm like, oh yeah. look, there's this gym at this tower in downtown Denver, and I go there and I'm like. Huh, it just came under the control of Team uh, Valor. And I'm like looking around and I see someone on the, a couple people on their phones. I'm like, all right, which one of you is the culprit? Like, That's, yeah. It's like those like, moments killing? in JoJo where it's like, oh, this is the work of an enemy stand. Who is it? Is it, is yeah, it the exactly. baby in the carriage? No. It's Wait, very, I think it's, I saw a two year old <laughs> with a phone. Yeah. It's a very. I, I don't know about honest. how this. The, the, even though it's one of the fastest spreading apps and all that, right now, I don't see an overall appeal for it long lasting, because like you can only catch the 150, and and right now there's not even really much you can do to train it. Sure, you can do gyms and things like that, but well, you know, future. There's not too much to do. Other than that, especially in areas where you might not have any other gym competitions or... I think the first 150 is to bring up nostalgia. For it is, it is. I like know it's a beta. It's not the full version. But right now, as an app what it is, it doesn't seem that as as, as interesting as I thought it was going to be. Because I tried I and, like, you know, caught a couple, but... 
Well, it's because it's not a... It, I, I think it's... Once, I, like, me and you can start going on walks and, like, on adventures and stuff, it's... It's to rekindle that childlike sense of adventure that that Pokemon has always been about, and I mean, <laughs> C1 does bring up a good point. Um, they call it, I, th- I thought just, it was a beta, though. It, yeah, that's that's what we're saying. Well, he's it, saying he's I mean, saying it is the full version. I I mean, it'll still update. It's gonna have updates, and the 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 trade-off of adding the one adding more than the 151 is people will get disassociated because that's not the pokemon they remember mm. so it might stick with the 151 for maybe the first two years jeez maybe even three that's that seems insane because of how many like actually good pokemon are yeah. added like well you have to think about it this way pokemon are, are based on location Right, so you're not gonna you're not gonna get all 151 Pokemon based on your location. So it's not there might be too, some traveling. Doesn't seem to be too based. Like it it seems to be super random at the moment. It would be cool if they did start putting out location based, where it's like, oh, the west side has the uh, Kanto region Pokemon, and the east side of the country has uh, the other. What was it? Ah, sh- Hanjo. Uh, it's the second place. Hanjo? Hanjo? Uh, Honan. K- uh, Onan? Honan. Jo- Honan. Jodo. Yeah. Jodo? Jodo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jodo. There, that's two. Honan is a region. <laughs> I'm sure somewhere. Yeah, Ori. Honan, I think is silver and gold. Yeah, well, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, and then divide it up by region. That'd be neat. I'd also like some that's sort awesome. of way of, le- like, you know, leveling up Pokemon instead of just feeding them candies and catching more Pokemon. Well, if you could yeah. fight the ones that you run into in the wild or something, I don't know. You know, they can always up they'll always have a chance to update it. But it's just an interesting phenomenon where like at work where it's like a relatively serious government workplace where people are talking about Pokemon. <laughs> or I had a like a middle aged Hispanic woman come up to me and she goes, Oh, you're playing Pokemon? I'm like, Yeah. She goes, Oh, we've been trying to figure out how to catch them. And I'm like, Oh, you just like do this. And she's like, Oh, thank you. I'm like, w- Weird. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's cool because it's bringing all these different demographics together and it's giving people, like I've been saying, um, like we've been talking privately, Wubs, I think last night, where it was like, it's bringing people together that have low, like, social capital. Like, they're not used to striking up conversations. They don't get out their si- outside their house very much. They, You know, that kind of... And just nerds in general have, on average, aren't really outgoing or outspoken. So it's really cool that all, all of us are coming together and see, seeing a mutual interest and just having fun. Yeah, like, today I went for a walk in the city. I would never do that on my day off normally. But I was like, yeah, I'm going to go for a walk. And I... Walked up and down the city, got a major sunburn on my arm, which is actually, if you look at it, it's in my phone hand, so only the thumb and like the back of the hand are sunburned, but the rest of it's fine because I've been hold- I was holding my phone the entire time. Yeah, it's a very odd pattern of sunburn, but yeah, so I don't know. It's cool. So, so I haven't actually gone into researching this myself. Uh, what is the story on the actual legendaries that are in the 150? Like, are they going to be just super, super, super rare in the wild? Or are they just team banners and nothing else? If, I, I I would like to say... Uh, go ahead, Daniela. If I am if I like, remember this correctly, isn't there a certain event where you can go and catch the uh, specials? Yeah. Because you have the three birds and Mew at least, or Mew two is technically one fifty, right? Yeah. Uh, one fifty one. I thought. Yeah. Yeah, if I don't remember, is it one fifty or one? Yeah, either way, you ha- you have one of those, at There's least. Certain events where you can go, and catch them. I actually think um I don't remember if she's even in the one fifty, but I'm pretty sure they made a Celebi into an event as well. Oh, uh, that's definitely not. That's a few ones, a few that's, tiers down. That's Gen 2, I think. Gen so let me know. It's not Gen 2. It might be Gen 3. That's Gen... It might be Gen 3 or 4. Um, I'm not saying there's not. I'm just saying that. I'm pretty sure they made her into it, an event. Down... From what I'm reading right now, it probably will be made into an event. You're right. Um, From what I'm reading, they're just not in the game. Like, the developer has been quoted to say... Uh, legendary Pokemon are super rare. Uh, blah, 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 blah. 
the answers to why is simple. They're not in the game yet. Developer Niantech will most like Nian. uh, make legendary Pokemon parts of events or spawn them manually, which makes huh. sense, right? They're supposed to be super rare, and catching them should be an amazing feat. Oh, gosh. Imagine someone like like... Oh no, that'd be the worst. Like he just he just spawns it and then that's it. Like I I would geez. I would say a com a Comic Con or some type of con event <laughs> solely based on Pokemon Go or Nintendo is now possible. <laughs> they, no, Their they just spawn it in the middle of a room and then everyone dollars. starts the app and it's just every like it has like a zero point zero 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 one percent capture rate, so it's just a bunch of people throwing Pokeballs at this legendary and the first one to get it <laughs> gets it. <laughs> and uh, then the third... battle will just end for everyone else. Also, Luke, thanks for the host. Uh, I don't see that happening because I'm not logged into the forum thread. I'm also not the streamer. Yeah, it doesn't. So, but thank send, you. It didn't send me a message. I thought it was going to send something like that. I still like the well. idea of legendary Pokemon being put in a place that's fitting to them, like Zapdos being at Hoover Dam. Or, yeah. Oh, that'd be so Because it's one, it's a though. geographical, uh, it's like a landmark, and it also is a giant it would power just... plant. It would just make me really happy if they said there was like a Moltres event in Hawaii and then suddenly Hawaii had a big tourism board that day. Yeah, you put Moltres in Hawaii and then... Yeah, uh, that would make me happy though. The top in of Antarctica Mount Antarctica or Alaska? No, just no, put it Yeah, top Alaska. Of exactly. It would have to be Alaska. Like, well, you could put it on top of a mountain. They put it on Mount Everest I mean, do... or Canada. Well, no, uh, Mol uh, Moltres... Or, Moltres. Uh, Articuno was in like a island cave, if I remember. Well, also keep in mind you have to go somewhere where there's a signal. Yeah. Wait, 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 hold on. An island cave, so you could just have an island that's a little mountainy by itself. You could actually use Shadow Moses. <laughs> oh, there's no way there's a <laughs> signal on one of those islands in Alaska. I know. Well, isn't it GPS? Not, not. Cell phone? It's not a satellite. No, you, no, need, no. you need a data connection. Yeah, yeah, you need satellites and data connection and shit like that. Yeah. There's all kinds of things that you need. That's what I'm saying. I mean, like, honestly, Mount Hood can you do it off the Wi Fi? There's, there's no Wi Fi in Alaska. No, no, if it's they have tethered. Wi -Fi. No, 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 no. No, it's like a link of people tethering to each other in a chain <laughs> to reach it. And it's like, it's like the biggest version of teamwork ever. Like, all the Pokemon fans gathered in Alaska, stretching a line to get Articuno. <laughs> it's like that scene in Lord of the Rings where they light the signal fires. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be dope. But yeah, no, that'd I, be cool. I, I, just, put them in. I just want no another, like, event at, like, s some sort of convention where they actually have people, like, cosplaying as, like, gym trainers. <laughs> and you actually have to beat through different people to get to the leader. I was thinking on my on my uh, treks through Woodstock once I get this new phone or and get Pokemon Go and all of that other fun stuff that I would get like a a pin or something and then put it on my my backpack or, or camel pack or or even on my chest. I was thinking about maybe wearing like a, a yellow T-shirt or like a bandana. I don't know something like that. But then I realized I'm like, oh yeah gang violence kind of ruined wearing specific colors so i don't want to wear yellow and get shot because i'm representing a some type of a local gang you get shot by team valo <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. okay real quick swerving um a couple things to say about it, like all of this first up yeah go for it um I would much rather get run over by uh, someone playing Pokemon Go and then get run over by someone who was te texting their girlfriend or something. Yeah, that's true. You're like what? dying and like, oh my god, I'm so true. sorry. I was trying to catch a Mew. I was trying to like, catch, yeah. Oh, and I'm like, oh, where is it? I immediately stands up. Where's the Mew? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> well, what if they troll and Mew is just like, kind of like in, in, I think, like Pokemon Snap, like if you see, like you see it on your phone for a second, and then it just goes away before you can actually react oh, to it. That reminds me. I'm thinking it'll probably be a type specific themed Poke Go like meetup or like con where it's like a fire type con, electric type con, ice and water type con that can be in like central locations. So it'd be an easy travel point for everyone in the United States or whatever country 
uh, Pokey Go is in, um, and then it's like they all go there, and then that's just where all the Pokemon are, and you have to go through like a series of events, like you have to solve a riddle, or you have to travel somewhere, and you have to go on a scavenger hunt, you know, and and then th at the end you get Articuno or Moltres or Zapdos or something. That'll probably be the most likely way of doing things. Well, I know they have done, like, uh, like for just regular Pokemon events in the past where you can get Victini by just going to a GameStop. But <laughs> it has to be something where it can't just be, like, a one-time or, like, a super rare event, else it's going to be, like, it literally be no one can have it. That's not true. If it was a yearly event or and it was sponsored by Nintendo, it would give them a chance to sell things other than Pokemon Go. This is... Uh, and you just you put it into a convention center, you pre-program the app to have a particular amount of drops for a particular typing of Pokemon. I just I want there to be and, key locations with the Pokemon. That'd be cool. Because it's like, oh I need to go to Hoover Dam. Like and you're like, oh look, Hoover Dam. Yeah. See, that way you go to like I'd rather it be rare like it, it could be like one of those things where it's an MMO mm -hmm. issue of everyone is like standing near your objective. So like there's just a bunch of people in a group huddled around the spot where Moltres spawns and you're just waiting like waiting for the farm to go down. They've can Well bump. my thing is it's Sorry, go ahead. Well it, it, the Hoover Dam, for example, for Zapados, it's like people in Las Vegas will have an easier time traveling to the Hoover Dam than, say, someone from Georgia. It doesn't Georgia have to be or... only a single location, just well, that's... Po key points. Like I'm, t I'm telling you, the smart move would be Nintendo setting up a convention. You, convention? You think, you, think a, a... you think a natural location is hard to get to? What about a convention? Like, it's yeah, the same situation. That... It's hard to get to yeah, a convention as it's hard to get to a natural location. It's... It, it's I, I thought it would be more feasible with a convention. Well, I mean, the whole thing is, like, we have Pokestops at Landmucks and stuff, and gyms popping up at Landmucks. Like, one is at the Logden Theater, which is a famous, like, theater nearby, because they want you to walk to Landmucks and see stuff. So having it at giant Landmucks, like, uh, I don't know, Hoover Dam or whatever, would be probably... To the betterment, I guess. And, and also, yeah. you can also, also leave leave them in there. And things like conventions, that convention hall isn't always a convention hall, and that would make it a lot harder. That way, like people can go to these locations at any time. They don't have to be like, I can only go during this specific time, but there's no way I can ever get work off at that time, or there's no way I could ever do it at this time. And like, like, and it, like I also said, it doesn't have to just be oh, you, you restricted to just the Hoover Dam, you know, but it could be a how many, many people waterfalls go to Comic -Con? or things like that. Like San Diego Comic Con, a bunch, yes. but do you know how many their users there are of Pokemon Go? A few million. So. You know how many people go to Hoover Dam? I don't. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. Yeah, Daniela. You know what broke my heart while playing Pokemon Go? Ah, uh, what? I was in Orlando for the uh, this uh the um fuck camera the US Open. It's a Taekwondo convention, right? Right. And I was running around the resort, it's in Coronado Springs, Orlando, and I found a Dratini. It was in my sights. I threw a Pokeball at it and it I've ran away. I got you in my sights. It ran away. <laughs> <laughs> they have confirmed that they've confirmed that astronauts are unfortunately unable to play Pokemon Go. <laughs> oh no! Hopefully, by the time Rayquaza and Deoxys get into the game, that they'll have. That would be so space. hype! So you Imagine have if you had to, to go to space to get, to get them. Yeah. <gasps> that would be sick. Though. That would be boss. That would be awesome. It would be super expensive to catch one of those. Yeah. Um, but uh, Chaos brought up uh, an Overwatch meme. So has anyone seen the new Overwatch character besides me? Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Anna something or another don't care. Pokemon Go. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> in other news, Pokemon <laughs> Go. To that app, um, <laughs> in other news, uh, we also, um, you know that new team's coming out. I want Team Rocket to be a team. Wait, there's a new team. <laughs> wait, wait, there's out. a is there an actual announcement? No, it's 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 uh people are like getting all 
lovey-dovey and stupid and they're like there's there's so much hate and hostility between the teams you know we can't have some friendly competition so they're like team harmony you guys and it's oh, Lugia no, it's not it's not as their mascot it's, it's not that one but it's it's still like they're legitimately coming out with a new, a new team in five. Oh, they 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 are yeah. for real yes yeah. but um i want team rocket to be a team like i want it and i need it now <laughs> Yeah, if Team Rocket's a team, I'm defecting. Yeah, like, I need to be Team Rocket right now. No, and they should make it oh, so that you, you can, could... like, steal other people's Pokemon. And you know how it's open, so when you go catch a Pokemon, it's available to other people as well in the same location? Right? <laughs> I don't want it so that if Team Rocket catches that Pokemon, nobody else can get it. That Pokemon is gone from that specific location. But Team Rocket wouldn't be able to ha hold gyms. Well, I mean, I guess Giovanni was the leader. Of yeah, the exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Giovanni was a team a gym leader. Yeah. Sure. So I guess that so... just defeats my entire point. Yeah, it needs to be. <laughs> I would make best Team Rocket person. But in Team Rocket, you have to elect someone to be Giovanni. Basically, like you can't just it, it like that's your figurehead, and you have a permanent gym. Well, you can still have like kind of different bosses like all oh, oh, nearly all the bad guy teams have like past red like the original red and blue have like uh, assistant this or, or actual like different generals but you can only use zubats <laughs> you can only <laughs> use zubats what about ghastly Atkins. though i have i have a ghastly yeah ghastly. I, I caught a ghastly i have one right now in my arson i need more pokemon i need to fly somewhere where there's more Pokemon. I'm looking at my Pokemon right now. I'm going. I'm going to uh, Arizona for th for Christmas. And I'm gonna get some of those sand Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get Sand True. I'm gonna get Rhydon. There's a lot of rock and ground types, and uh, uh, some other just like really cool typing over in Tucson in Arizona. So it I'm is. Look at, like my brother. So it is based I'll on. Post something region. on Facebook. Yeah, it, it is. There. Yeah, it is based on region and like location. I have so many ponytas. Like, <laughs> really? <laughs> Is that common? <laughs> Not Co for me. Colorado. I haven't seen that no. many around me. Okay, so I guess it is a Colorado thing. Denver Broncos, I'm a right, guys. <laughs> really? So, that, hey, what a, if that was? I don't know, what if that, that was like? Fun. Well, no, no. If you have to think about it, like they're go the, the the Pokemon Go people. Like, granted, it it's a big world, so you can't do it for every place, but. Like, at least subtly, they're like, okay, we're going to sprinkle some here. We're going to sprinkle some horses here because of this. It like, will be cool they, when they... They must have certain reasons for some of them. Yeah, they've confirmed trading, if I remember right. So it will be cool yeah. when you're able to trade Pokemon. Yeah, the, the, the trade update is incoming. Now, if I could actually... What do you know what I would, a feature that hurt. I would really like? And st you know how you can walk a certain distance it hatches eggs, right? Yeah. If right. you walk, you can slowly increase the combat power of a Pokemon. It would be like training, like you call it like advanced training or something. Like that okay. would be kind of neat, so that you don't need to just stuff their face with candies. You know what I mean? Also, I'm sure that that training and and battling will become more, or are just basically overall better or more efficient as time goes on, as they because the, the whole point of like making this thing certain way is so that people don't cheat like you can you can strap your your phone to your bike like wheel and spin the wheel and that counts as walking. is uh yeah. walking <laughs> you can i mean there's ways you can cheat the system for walking so the whole point of like getting candy by catching pokemon and like getting rewards like Stardust and a lot of stuff at Poke Stops is it sort of circumvents the whole cheating aspect of people who, like just Pokestops. being shitty. Also, I mean, well, no, no. I see, see, Stardust... here's in Pokemon. Actually, you get uh, like experience not by standing in place, but by traveling via it be foot, skate, or bike. So since it's connected to the GPS, it only counts it if your GPS is on and you're moving. You're Actually, physically changing location of your phone. At work, there's not really any like. So, like, even if you're tra me. making your phone travel by car, well, that still would apply to the actual Pokemon universe because if you're moving by, say, a bike, you're still training. Like, it's still counting ticks for either hatching well, an raising, egg or it's, whatever. We're, we're, in specific, we're referencing the 
combat training or increasing your CP for Pokemon. Well, I guess uh, it, it, you could add the addition of the free, uh, what's it called? The daycares. That would be kind of yeah. good. Like having daycares. Yeah. I just need, I need Oh, we found CP this egg. Up. We don't know how it got here. The fuck? I, I think it'd be cool if someone could establish their, like, a daycare for themselves. Like, they could run a daycare kind of thing. Yeah. I like mean, could, like, like, uh, like it, with tr with trading being a thing, it, it could be an unofficial game wise, but you could still host yourself as like, oh, I'm the Pokemon daycare. Bring your Pokemon over here. Like, especially if it was something at school, you could just be like, actually run a daycare. But it could be a trap. Like legit. Well, yeah, you could be Team Rocket running the daycare, but you wouldn't know that until it happens. Haven't you, have Team you heard Rocket. the stories of people setting up those Lua modules and locations and then waiting for people to come and then, just and then robbing them? people? Yeah. yeah. That part okay. is also like, hmm. It's funny, though. It's funny until Love Boy, who's walking around town that he normally doesn't, gets lured by one. That so also, no. real true. See, this is. What, what's going on? What's up, Daniela? Real quick on the motion of um, having to walk around and stuff to level up. I did at work specifically, right? Because uh, there's no stops or anything near any of my stores. I don't understand why, right? So there's literally nothing near my store. And so I just have to put on some incense and I'll sit in my chair at my desk and I'll have the Pokemon come to me. Motherfucker. <laughs> No, sorry. I was just checking Pokemon Go. Team Mystic <laughs> captured the Ogden Theodore. <gasps> oh, shit. Also, about that, can we all kind of like talk about our Pokemon? Except Zach, because Zach's lame and he doesn't have it. Yet. So, yeah, I, well, well, Pokemon, I do, I've been planning to in implement certain naming schemes in the future. But to do so, I need to like train Pokemon forever and go through the game again. So I'm glad I can start using these naming schemes in this game. Because you can just change their names willy-nilly, and I like that. That's awesome. Yeah. Can, we, can we talk about our Pokemon? Yeah, like like what Pokemon you have? Yeah. Is that what we're talking yeah. about? I mean, go for it. It's This is the platform to talk. I, so I have the Nidorans, the host of them, the male and the female. I have a nice. dope. Ghastly. Zubat, my Pidgeys, obviously, Caterpie, uh, Doduo, Gloom, a Scyther, Sandshrew, um, Eevee, Raticate, Venonat, Magikarp, Spiro, Raditat, uh, Execute, uh, Squirtle, uh, da -da 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 -da, uh, Psyduck, uh, Staryu, uh, Paris, a uh, Poliwag, a Meowth. I caught that in Orlando. <laughs> Uh, a slowpoke. It was a bike gambling machine. <laughs> it might have been <laughs> Ekans, a uh, Charmander, um, a Pidgeotto, yeah. and a Bulbasaur. I have all three starters, by the way. I have a dude on a skateboard starters. with a giant starters. Are the starters theater. just as wild? Yeah. I think yeah, so, yeah. yeah. You can really? get the starters as wild as well. Um, but I started with my Bulbasaur, then I caught a Charmander, and just recently I caught a Squirtle. I had a dude who looked homeless, like, roll by me on a skateboard, and he's like, Hey, have you seen a Bulbasaur anywhere around here? And I'm like, this is a weird, <laughs> this is a weird <laughs> <laughs> What? Oh, so oh no, 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 like, it'll, it'll turn, like, I've got, like, instead of uh, <laughs> opening their co and it revealing drugs, it's like, I got some Weedles a week or something. <laughs> Some random Pokemon, like like enticing them with Charizards. You want to buy some Weedles? <laughs> <laughs> no. You don't want to sell me the Weedles. <laughs> you uh, want to go home and rethink your life. Go home and rethink my life. <laughs> oh, I got so mad though because in Orlando, right, my phone died on our way to the pool, and so on the way back, I was using my phone, my friend's phone, to play, and I didn't log into mine because I was like, whatever. I caught him a Lickitung. Uh, and I caught him a horsey, and we caught a, uh, not a Spearow, the, um, the other one. Uh, Farfetch? No. Pidgey? Oh, fuck. Uh, the Spiro big birdie. Like the evolution of, Firo, a Firo. I said uh -huh. that. Yeah. My bad. Firo. 
I was so pissed. I was like, we're not friends anymore until I catch a Spiro. <laughs> I mean, a Firo. Oh, this gym. Also, is how. Ogden Theater. I've yet to see. Sorry. What's up? I'm playing Pops? Ogden no, Theater. The, all the, the lowest Pokemon in the gym, like, ladder is like CP of 235. That's pretty weak. Actually, at my. Yeah, that's pretty weak. Pizza Hut across the street from Day City, right? And the store. There is a. Um, uh, a magic card, fifteen. <laughs> at the gym. Fifteen. <gasps> what if they? What I like? I really want in the future, like places to maybe be able to apply or something. Because I really want location based to go even further to where there's like you go visit the Georgia Aquarium and it's just littered with fish Pokemon, and like you could go to say a a, a actual just regular shop and it's a Poke shop as well. Like that I, I want cool, yeah. like th that type of thing to overlap more often because that again, would be really that's, cool. That's what's so great about like Nintendo's stock jumping up by, by like 173 million or billion or something like that. Like they made they've made a lot of money, so people are gonna businesses will start picking up on this and they'll and I'm sure Nintendo can broker some type of deal. I don't know. Not it only might be, it's gonna be interesting. My mom was telling me that there's a store in uh, East Colfax, which is like a pretty bad neighborhood. And it's like this run down shitty store. But it has a sign up front oh, that no. says catch a real Pokemon here and I'm like, wow. <laughs> That's clever. Yeah. That I know there's clever. some stores that are giving discounts based off your team. Like they're picking teams and they're like come in and Oh no. that is so cool. Yeah, and then that is so clever. There's this tattoo shop. I know it's called Atomic Tattoos, and if you catch a Pokemon in their store, they'll give you like fifteen dollars off your tattoo. What? I, in so, all yeah. honesty, so dude. Cool. Seriously, the the team instinct logo is actually really cool. Yeah, I really like. If I ever to get a Pokemon, I don't tattoo, remember. I think because uh, I haven't memorized it one, but they, I saw someone like just one of the anim uh, an animator has nothing to do with anything, but an animator just did like a animated version of uh, Articuno's logo. I forgot which team to link to because I, I haven't even gotten to that point. But uh, still. I think it would be Mystic if it was Articuno. Team Mystic is Articuno, Zapdos is Instinct, and Valor is Moltres. So, uh, anyone who knows so cool. more about Pokemon Go than I do, oh, the little numbers next to the gym are like the uh, like their control of the gym, right? Where it says like 18,000 yeah, or 20,000. So, if you were to beat like the tier 1 scrub person at the gym, it will still reduce their control over the gym, correct? Yeah. It, yes, that is correct. And if, if you're you buying own, if more you stock, own... you're going to need to get 51% of the gym to own the gym. Yeah. And if you So, I've been to... doing a lot of research. Yeah, please to inform and me because I'm a scrub. And... Yeah, no worries. I've been basically been preparing to be a Pokemon gym leader my whole entire <laughs> life. So let me break it down for you real quick. Okay, so gyms earn prestige, and it's like based off of like there's a certain prestige that you can earn or maintain for a gym. Yeah, the top so you, tier of in all order the to tattoos. turn that exactly. So you have to knock that gym's prestige down to zero, and then your team can take it. And, like, if you're there with multiple people, it's based on CP. So the lowest tier CP or compo uh, combat points uh, will be at, the like, the first Pokemon you fight and so on and so forth. And whoever has the most CP or the highest CP Pokemon is considered to be the gym leader. Gotcha. As well. So that means that it, it as, like, once they do in integrate battling more... Uh, especially that there's going to be certain places that just have a level 100 Pokemon dropped on them, and it's like, well, fuck, because it's like a really well-statted Pokemon as well. Good. <laughs> I wonder if people will start organizing it so it is like, oh, this is the Fire-type gym, or that if it's be... just going to always be like a mismatch of different Pokemon. Because if you roll as a squad was... with friends, you could take over a gym and basically set up your entire friends as the trainers of that gym. Yeah, exactly. So if you were to fight Love in Zach. a gym Let's of your own team, and it, cause you Zach. can Let's do that, go. is it basically that if you beat the person, you be you take over their spot in the gym? I I don't I don't know. That is something I, that I haven't researched I yet. I think that's the case. You like move because up in it's rank one v one like... instead of like a six v one against an enemy gym. So I'm assuming that if you were um, to beat them in the one v one, 
your Pokemon that you use becomes that Pokemon and the, the gym ladder. Okay. What, Zach? What? Let's roll out. We're squatting We're up. We're squatting up. We're taking over the thing. We're taking over everything. I mean, there life. was, the, it is, it, even in, like, Red and Blue, there was mo- literal motorcycle gangs that, like, a, like kind of attacked you, but not. And it, they they were just, they're just riding around. Even in, like, Fire Red, they expanded on a little bit more, but, like, they were just straight-up gangs, like, separate from the bad guy team. Honestly, I'm just really excited for this week and next week. Because, you know, I've been working nonstop because I just put in my two weeks uh, last week, right? And uh, mm-hmm. so this next week coming up is my last week. And because it's my last couple of days, they're milking me for all I'm worth and making me like I've worked so much more than normal, right? And tomorrow's my first half day. So I only work half a day and I'll be able to go out and actually catch Pokemon like walking around. Yeah. Instead of sitting at my desk with my incense running. <laughs> and, um, so I'm gonna do that. And then next weekend, I'm going to MetroCon! <laughs> nice. And so, I'm sure there's gonna be lots of Pokemon running around. Good. I hope you catch all of them. Also, we have some breaking news from chat. What's happening? Uh, one. Pokemon Go has been more searched than porn, porn yes. on Google. <laughs> when is Pokemon uh, Rio Go is trying to get Pokemon? <laughs> it'll happen. It's probably happening as it is. Uh, the mayor of Rio is hoping to get Pokemon Go before the Olympic Games, and see when is informed. No, you just open up another slot, which you can then put your Pokemon in. In regards to gems. Oh, okay. So you just add yourself. Yeah, your to the your gym. Pokemon aren't left at the gym, but it, or, or like either it's way, like it, a, it's if, like a shadow if clone. They're, basically. If they're yeah. if they're attacked, they're, they're returned to you like at one health or whatever if they lose. Okay, so it's basically like, just reinforcing. You're not at risk at losing your Pokemon, it's, so it's only advantage to try for a gym. Gotcha. You never take one over a person's slot on your own team. Okay, so you, you just, just add an additional also, slot uh, to the gym. Also, quick fun fact, a news anchor playing Pokemon Go walked through a weather report. <laughs> uh, I saw that picture. I, I, I want to see if there's like a video thing attached to it, because I haven't looked into that, but it's funny. Which also, one? The news report? They are absolutely left at the gym. Yeah, I remember. They are left at the gym, but if they're defeated, they're returned to you. Okay, I get it. Okay, I understand. So it's well, just me. The more you know. My Pokemon. I like my well, then, Pokemon. then you I'll just keep it. <laughs> it. Then it just won't be in the gym and get stronger. Look, that just gives you time to train other Pokemon and evolve other Pokemon. And so hatching like, and get stardust team. and does hatching eggs get? No, I wouldn't get candy. You have to actually catch Pokemon's for that. Yeah, Pokemon for candy, hatching eggs for Stardust. And I think you can buy Stardust. Some you can also uh, give away your Pokemon to the professor and uh, get candy that way as well. Yeah, ooh, for sure. Ooh, there's an Abra nearby. Oh, what? I need to go, guys. If you, oh, I have You gotta go. <laughs> I gotta go, guys. We gotta go. You gotta go. If it's Abra, they're tricky, though. They've always been tricky. Fucking teleport. The Abra that I caught didn't have teleport. They just sort of Oh, there's a Bell Sprout, too. Hatching. Guys, guys. Look, if you need to go catch Pokemon, we can vamp. <laughs> we got you. I'm just saying. But also, hatching egg does give you candy. Oh, it does for the. I'm assuming for the mm-hmm. Pokemon that it hatches. I would imagine so. Oh, yeah. Oh man, this team Mystic Gym is. I'm just sitting here watching it on the app. It's now down to sixteen thousand out of twenty thousand. It was eighteen thousand just a few minutes ago. Oh, could you poach? Could you poach a gym? From, like, say, Team Valor's fighting Team Mystic, and then you just swoop in and place your Pokemon down. Oh, my. That'd be terrible. That'd be... That'd be dope. Can you imagine just someone, in my, like, in real life... Like, not real life, but you know what I mean, in Pokemon. Can you imagine just, like, Ash, like, coming up behind? There's, like, a battle going on, right? Ash coming up behind with Pikachu. He's well, about don't to get knocked out. you still have to out. fight up the ranks, Pikachu, still. use Thunderbolt. <laughs> Win! Yeah, just basically... Also, Luke, it's an Abra, all right? It's a psychic Pokemon, one. And two, Alakazam is probably one of the best special attack, like, offensive Pokemon you can you can hope to get. 
Oh, uh, uh, one thing. Even in current also, generations, uh, uh, Alex Sam. Like I know they're only using the first 150, but which 150 are they using? 151 are they using? Like, cause they've gone through a couple, like s- many stat and like special iter- like, oh, ability well, iterations. It's not quite like that. It has its own stats. It's not for the each. same. Yeah. So. Yeah. Each the combat the the overall what what is considered to be their combat level or, or power as they call it in this game is like, based off the like it doesn't give you a speed stat. It doesn't give you an attack damage. It doesn't give you like all the stats it normally would give you in a three the 3ds or Game Boy version. Like you don't get to see how much um, speed they have or how much attack they have or whatever. So it's just basically an, I, I would imagine an average of their stats maybe. Or they develop their own stats I think specifically it's their own for stats. Pokemon Go. Because there's... Yeah, it's probably... Yeah, there's, like, ability power. Like, it's just the amount of damage it does. And I'm sure that's calculated based on combat power and types and stuff like that. Yeah. Also, it would guys, be cool. Can... Some sort of synergy with the new upcoming Pokemon game would be kind of nice. I highly oh, doubt really it. Cool. Especially at launch, but maybe, like, maybe, a few maybe months eventually, down the road. Uh, like... Maybe another like adding more guys update because while the you know the three the teams are nice as they have been established like even though the actual bird Pokemon are good like I've liked specifically the legendaries uh, over uh, even the regular Pokemon of the future ge- generation like uh, like a team that or you know, teams that are represented by some, something like Dialga like I thought yeah. those things are pretty neat looking. But... It'd be cool if they went by generation by continent. So like Europe has generation two Pokemon and America has generation three Pokemon, but Oceania and Australia have generation four Pokemon as well as the one fifty. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that'd be cool. Because well, you know, if, if they were doing it like actually did it zone restricted that far, then it would be more closer to what they do in the actual games where. It's the new the new 150 or however many that zone has, and then it does have a couple like sprinkles of the rest of them, but not not all of them. Like right. like you can still catch a Pikachu in nearly yeah. all of the games, but a lot of the other Pokemon are missing, and you're probably not going to find them in the wild. Uh, honestly, I think my first original prediction of them adding more Pokemon in the next two or three years might be, I think they might do an addition maybe every year or every other year. I don't know. Like, right right now, it's too early to tell. Like it, it, it Right now, they just need it's to... It's barely get, been get a their, week, right? Yeah, they, it's going to be kind of like probably MMO levels of updating, if even that often, but... Right now, they just would need to focus on, like, because the issue is, and it's, and it's been upsetting people, like, in Europe and whatnot, that they haven't gotten their game released. Well, they released it here because they're like, oh, we're going to try to release this game. Oh, wow, the servers, hmm, so we're going to need a bit. Sorry, guys. Like, the plan was to just keep rolling, keep releasing, but they just discovered that their servers aren't ready for more people to play. They need to well, release it worldwide is, before they can really do a bigger update. What What is great is that they're making enough money to, to easily buy plenty of server space. Also, breaking news, Pokemon Go causes people to flock to national parks, awesome. as well as people are starting to play Pokemon Go with drones. Yes. Um, using it to trick <laughs> the system cute. into thinking he's walking around. Yeah, I saw about that. Also, quick also breaking news, um, cat update. Uh, okay. Um, you guys know how I took in that stray named Taz? Yes. 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 Um, he's st- steadily been, like, improving, but uh, once he can move around freely and not hurt himself and stuff, um, he's been a big scaredy baby and, like, doesn't like anyone touching him. He sees you and he runs away. But as of recently, I've been grabbing him and, like, snuggling him lots, and today he actually came up to me by himself. That's so, good you know, news. Mother- you Redomesticating a feral demon. His name is ca- Kaz, me, cat. and he's really cute and he's great. Kaz. He kind of makes me think of a little bat. Zubat. He's precious. Just rename it Zubat. Zubat. I'm not even joking. He has like a really like pointed like face with the really pointy ears, and he has like huge big eyeballs. He makes me think of a little bat. Cool. <laughs> so speaking of Pokemon, <laughs> see. 
<laughs> yes, but more about Pokemon. Did you, uh, no, more uh, about the new, this, it, the new generation of Pokemon, though. Have any of you seen some of the new Pokemon that have been rolling out that they've been I, showing up? The new oh, gen? they've been releasing more oh, besides yeah. the starters. Rowlet and the Poison Fire type, which is like the strongest typing I've seen. The Salamander thing. So really? Yeah, the salamander. Yeah, poison and, and poison and fire have amazing resistance. Like poison alone has great resistances, and water. it's super effective against. It's super effective against fairy, which is awesome. And just an overall, the fire typing is pretty good. It'll make it really aggressive. But predictions are saying that it, it stat wise will be like super not great to balance out the great typing but and it's, its ability. If I remember right, its passive allows it to poison steel types. Yeah, it. it its passive will allow yeah, you to be. poison any type of Pokemon. So it does it, You can poison poison types. You can poison steel types. You can poison ev You can poison everything. And with its fire type, steel type would already be kind of fucked. And then there's that kinda weird fucked, mimic yeah. Pikachu ghost thing, whatever that is. What? Oh, hold, oh, up, hold, hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Ditto? Are you talking about Ditto? I can't. I want Ditto now. It's I'm not. Ditto. It's a weird ghost Pokemon that when they show it, it has like it's like a weird Pikachu design oh. to it. Have, oh, have like they, did they do this with any of the other versions? Like, release, like, oh, this is just another regular Pokemon that's going to be there. Well, I don't know, but uh, I'm, I I want Ditto and I want him now. Spooky Who doesn't want ghost Ditto? Ditto. Uh, spooky Ghost Ditto. I'm looking for I was looking at I mean, also... Spooky Chew was... was Would you know, I don't know if, if you had name, a Ditto? Though. Like, what if, what if you caught <laughs> a Ditto? What if we <laughs> caught yeah. a Ditto as he was shaped as something else? Yeah, you see it. You see it in a while, and it's just or or on that same similar vein. Like if it's a Zora, uh, yeah, just disguised as another one, you you wouldn't know it's a Zora at first. Yeah, yeah. Look up Spooky Chew because that's what I've been seeing. All right, but I don't that know. It sounds like that. It sounds like your first results would lead you into a creepy pasta story. Probably. Probably. I, I just linked to you guys some stuff. I'm looking it up now. Also, they have a puppy Pokemon that m theoretically might evolve into some type of... Oh, wow. They Okay, cool. Here's more. Um, That might evolve into... like It might be more like a werewolf type Pokemon. Because its lore says it leaves... Once you train it to a certain level, it leaves you. And then... Oh, this is really cool. Um, It, it sort of leaves you... And then comes back as a fully evolved. It's what is it? It's a, uh, it's Rock Rough is what its name is called. It's you catch it, Pokemon. you get it to level twenty. It just disappears from your party, and like twenty thousand steps later, it comes back. Are you talking yeah, about the meme uh, that's like uh, the Pikachu no, that's spooky Pikachu? No, no, no. I, I linked it into the uh, into the Skype chat and to the Twitch chat. So Rock Rough has an excellent sense of smell, and once. Um, this is this is in regards to the Pokemon that it, on for Sun and Moon. Uh, Rockruff has an excellent sense of smell, and once it has smelled an odor, it doesn't forget it. There are tales of these Pokemon getting separated from their trainers, then using the faintest traces of their uh, scent to track them down for days until they are re reunited. Rockruff is a sociable Pokemon, but as it grows, its disposition as it grows, its disposition gets wilder. If it begins to howl when the sun goes down, that is proof that it's close to evolving. So sun and moon might invo e uh, oh, evolve. In, in, in involve ways. the involve actual like data. I mean, there's been a couple Pokemon that have been uh, like changed, like Umbreon and Espeon, depending on what time it was. But yeah, I'm yeah. going to play further into that because it'd be interesting if there was a Pokemon that it had to be nighttime for it to be in what's essentially its Omega form. That would be kind of neat. Yeah. Uh, like it's, it's like this evolution. it's like a special defense pokemon in the daytime but it's a more physically statted pokemon in the night yeah oh by the way the name of spooky chew at least in japanese i don't know if it has an english name yet is mimi tsukiyo yeah, yeah mimi tsukiyo hates sunlight preferring dark places it is rumored that the cloth covering its body is a strategy to avoid the sun don't try to remove the cloth it is said that those that do be that do become afflicted with an illness. It's Pokemon Pokédex of just the Reginald thing. Like, it, it just none of this is ever touched in the show. 
Yeah. Yeah. Venus. So Sola, much like creepy Sola. entries, especially when it was like even I don't know. It seems like it's not quite as much for certain ones, but actually, even in the more recent, I say more recent, it's still been a while, but like the balloon Pokemon that just takes people away. Oh yeah. It takes <laughs> so oh uh, okay. Can you guys read like Pokemon uh, thingies and uh, Pokemon and the and the uh, and the Pokédex the voice? Descriptions? Yeah. I don't remember the Pokédex no, voice. No, it doesn't have to be specifically Pokédex voice. The way I call it is the uh, the air hostess, voice. the you know the hostess voice. Oh, let me look up some Pokédex entries then. Hold on. Yeah. Rowlet can attack without making a sound. It flies silently through the skies, drawing near to its opponent without being noticed. Also, the starters, to get sidetracked by the whole Pokemon Pokedex voice, uh, the, <laughs> there's been leaks of, <laughs> Hold on, sorry. of the starters of Gen 7, or I believe this is Gen uh, 7. By the way. Um, which has been dope so far. I have a list I mean, of the most their... disturbing Pokedex entries. And I can read them for you if you would like. <laughs> yeah, let let's go one. ahead and read them. Uh, let me read okay, one. let... You read wait, one and let me read one. Yeah, I'll link it yeah. to you and then yeah. we can take turns reading them. Yes. I'll put Perfect. it in the chat. I'll start the first one with... Kadabra. Kadabra. It happened one morning. A boy with extra sensory power awoke in his bed, transformed into Kadabra. That's the end. <laughs> It transformed into the second evolution of a Pokemon. No one knows why the fuck that happened. <laughs> or whatever. Also, you're catching humans. Bleep bloop. Yeah. Next. Do you start reading after the little um? Yeah, it's like it, it remembers every dream it eats. It rarely eats the dreams of adults because childrens are much tastier. For drowsy, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got For it. Drowsy, uh, yeah. Just read after that part. Yeah. Drowsy, drowsy. It's miraculously that in the world of Pokemon, the Pokemon haven't risen up and destroyed every vestige of humanity. In huh. fact, they really no, 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 hardly, no, 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 no. barely touch humans at all. Not, One not, that no, does stop. seem to though stop. is drowsy. Stop. You're reading the wrong thing. Why? You told me to just read after that. No, it's the black part. That's the Pokedex entry. The, oh, that's the, the, Pokedex. Dark, the okay, bold okay. part is. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Not the paragraphs okay. after it. Drowsy. Drowsy. It remembers every dream it eats. It rarely eats the dreams of adults because children's are much tastier. Jesus. I like I like the uh, lamp, the lampant. Go ahead. The spirit, the spirits it absorbs fuel. No, it's you have to read it in the Pokédex voice. I'm not reading. Read it, it in the Pokédex voice, Zach. Voice. It hangs around hospitals waiting for people to pass on. This thing eats souls. I love it. And, and, and it these things are in though. multitude and just floating around. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The Pokemon, like, if you actually try to break it down because of how they've set it up in the catch em all mentality, it's rather strange. <laughs> Alright, I got Alright. Mm. Yeah, mask. Each of them carries a mask that it used to that used to be its face when it was humans. When it was human. Sometimes they look <laughs> at it and cry. Jesus Christ. Yeah, th like uh Batpat breaking down how like a lot of things seem to point towards like like a, some sort of split between like humans and Pokemon, and that's like them like stemming from humans originally. Here's things one. like that. Gorbis. Gorbis. Although Gorbis is the very picture of elegance and My beauty. My turn. It is also cruel. When it spots prey, this Pokemon inserts its thin mouth into the prey's body and drains the prey of its bodily fluids. You can read Drifloon. Yeah. That one's way better. Daniela. Drifloon. It is whispered that any child who mistakes Drifloon for a balloon and holds onto it could wind up missing. These Pokemon Just are called the signposts missing. for wandering spirits. Children holding them sometimes vanish. <gasps> It doesn't even say anything after that. They're just missing. It's just fine. I would never catch that Pokemon. No, you, but that Pokemon, it, it would literally be that <gasps> wait, you don't catch wait, that Pokemon. Wait, that one wait, catches wait. you. No, I could get a Drifloom, right? And like, if being Team Rocket, and I could use Drifloom to instead of, instead of catching children, I could catch other Pokemon with my Drifloom. 
But the drip that would take forever and, to train and, the drip. Granted, flume. it's more of a side one, but in Coliseum they had like a adapter for your hand that just made it so you could straight up catch owner like other owner trained Pokemon. Like it didn't matter if they were previously caught; you could just steal them. Honto. All right. Its tongue it's is made cacturn. of gas. Oh, fine. Go ahead. It's cacturn. Just to read cacturn. Fine. Yeah, Hold read on. cacturn. Y'all are taking too long to read. Mm. Cacturn. If a traveler is going through a desert in the thick of night, Cacturn will follow it in a ragtag group. The Pokemon <laughs> are biding their time, waiting for the traveler to tire and become incapable of moving. <laughs> Haunter. It, it is... Its tongue is made of gas. If licked, its victims start shaking constantly until eventually, death eventually comes. It hides so, in the dark, <laughs> planning to take the life of the next living thing that wanders close by. And with that, folks, our <laughs> podcast has hit the one hour mark. Wait. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for staying staying around listening to all of, our, all of us geek out about pokemon go you can always check up with us at facebook for the forum thread podcast we'll post some original videos here and there maybe we'll have the tft production channel on youtube where we post our pod video podcast where you'll see some visuals and see some cool little things that we do with the podcast and it'll have our whole archive. If you're not, if that's not your speed, you can always check out iTunes, where we have the whole archive of our podcasts, and we'll be posting those uh, as soon as they come up. Right, Thank one... you so. Yeah, I have one more Pokédex. We'll finish entry. this podcast with one more po- Pokédex no, no, no. entry from. No, 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 well, boy. no, not yet. Hold on. That, what? This is more important. What, Daniela? Prepare for trouble. <laughs> Make it double. To protect the world from devastation. From, from the game. <laughs> we already did this. To unite our people within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. Of truth and love. To extend our reach Jesse, to the stars above. James. <laughs> Meowth. Wobbuffet. Team Rocket. Podcast. Bust off at the speed of light. Surrender We're now. Done. Or prepare to fight. Dawamuka's droppings are hot, so people use to put them in their clothes to keep themselves warm. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Meow. That's right. <laughs> Cut. Cut the stream. Everyone hit stop. I demand everyone stop.